So, this is a video of firsts. I'm filming in a new location for the first time today, and for the first time ever on this channel, I'm gonna be covering a topic that is near and dear to my heart because it's happened to me personally, and that is how to recover files from a corrupted SD card. So SD cards are honestly one of the best inventions ever. Their form factor is genius, making them totally compatible with things like cameras and smartphones and tablets and things like that. However, they don't have the biggest track record for being the most reliable. So if you, for example, use your camera to take some pictures of your vacation, for example, and then you come back and try to look at them off the SD card, and they're just straight up gone, you're probably a victim of a corrupted SD card, unfortunately. And so, with that being said, this video is divided into a few different sections. The first is going to be going over some of the symptoms, if you will, of a corrupted SD card and how you can actually diagnose the problem if you suspect it in the first place. Second, I'm going to show you the most efficient way to recover your stuff. And then lastly, I'm going to go over a few alternative methods that you can try just in case the first one doesn't work or if you want to learn more about the subject. So how do you know that your SD card is corrupted? Well, there's a few telltale signs that you can look for. So the first one is camera error. And essentially what this means is when you try to put an SD card into the camera and it tells you that there's no card in there or it needs to be formatted or you have a black screen or something like that, like the camera gives you some kind of read error or write error to where you can't even take a picture without actually fixing the SD card. That's a pretty telltale sign that there's something going on with the SD card and it may in fact be corrupted. So number two is missing files. So if you go into your SD card one day and all of a sudden you see that a bunch of your photos are missing or your documents or whatever you've got on there, uh, or maybe you just can't even open them, like they're there but you can't open them, it just gives you an error message, that's another bad sign that unfortunately things may be corrupted and you're not gonna be able to use those files at all until you fix it. The third sign is appearance of unknown files. So this is kind of the reverse of the last one. If you just notice that new files are showing up all of a sudden that don't really make sense, you don't remember you know, putting them there or anything like that, that's again another sign that the SD card is kind of a mind of its own and it's kind of trying to fix itself in a way but not really and things are just kind of all jumbled up and it's manifesting itself in files that you didn't put there or create in the first place. Number four is read and write errors. So if you're trying to copy something from the SD card or copy something to the SD card and the file system is completely corrupted or whatever on the SD card is not working properly, is corrupted, it's likely going to prevent you from reading or writing anything to or from the drive, which again is another sign that things aren't working too well. And last but not least, number five, the thing that you may notice is that the card is not recognized or it needs mandatory formatting. So again, this kind of goes back to the camera thing where if you put the card in the camera and it tells you that you need to format it even though you've got you know, pictures on it already and this is the card that you always use with the camera, it's likely that the card is corrupted unfortunately and you'll need to fix it before you can use the camera or that card ever again. So those are the signs, now let's get into the solution. So the main solution that we're going to be deploying today is using a recovery software called Disk Drill. Obviously, I've talked about it many times before, I absolutely love Disk Drill, and one of the main things that's great about it is that it can actually read cards and drives that are not actually recognizable by a mainstream computer, but you can still plug it in and Disk Drill will recognize it and be able to reconstruct all the files from that drive, even though you can't access it on a camera, on a laptop, or a tablet, or anything like that. It's really, really useful and can really save you if you're in a pinch. Trust me, I can vouch for that. And so, let's get started with Disk Drill. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and go down to the link in the description to download and install it. And it is for both Mac and PC, which is really great. And once Disk Drill is installed, you can go ahead and open it up, follow the tutorials, and then it will bring you to the main homepage, which will bring you to the data recovery panel and something that we like to call the disk list. So at this point, if you have not already, go ahead and connect your SD card to your computer. And then once you do, it should show up inside the disk list, just like this. Now at this point, go ahead and select the SD card and choose your scanning method. So for me, I like to use all scanning methods because it's the most thorough and by far the most reliable, at least for me. You can use a few other scanning methods like deep scan and a few others, but for me, I just like to run all of them. It gives me the best chance of recovering the files that I want, and it doesn't take a whole lot of time, especially for an SD card that's typically in between four and 32 gigabytes. It's not gonna take that long. So I'm gonna go ahead and click search for lost data and I'll come back to you once it's finished. All right, so once it's finished, you can go ahead and click this button up here to review the files that you found. So now if you're on Windows, which I am, you can actually see that there's a couple of different ways that you can view the files here. So we have a file structure in the center right here, 
or a lot like a folder type of system, like a Windows Explorer type of thing. And then on the left hand side, you can review the files by category. So obviously if you're trying to find photos, you can just go and click on pictures and that will show you all of the different photo files that were found during the scan. Now something else that I need to say here real quick is that you need to make sure that your files are previewable. And essentially what a preview is, is just seeing a live version of that file inside of Disk Drill. And the way that you can do this is by finding the file that you want and then clicking the preview button right here. And that should show you a preview of that file just to the right if that file is completely intact. But what we're trying to avoid here is something called overwriting. This is something that I harp on all the time on this channel. We're trying to avoid actually going in and essentially erasing parts of the files. And what you do by previewing is you're essentially guaranteeing that that file is intact, not overwritten, and able to be recovered by disk drill, which is really important, especially if you want your files back. And so once you find the files that you do want, go ahead and put a check mark next to them, just like this, that will select them and then go down and click recover and select your save destination. So now make sure that you don't save the files back to the SD card that you're trying to recover from. I would recommend you just save them to your desktop. It's a nice quick and easy way to do it. That's always what I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my desktop and click OK. And as you can see, the files have been recovered to my desktop and I can copy them, I can move them, I can view them, I can do whatever I want. They're just like they never left. All right, so that is the gist of recovering your files from a corrupted SD card. Um, and yeah, it's really it really can be that simple. But I do wanna go over just a few alternative methods that you can use just in case this didn't work. Or again, if you want some more information or wanna arm yourself better for next time. So the first thing would be to try using a different device. So if you have an SD card that you typically use like with your MacBook Pro, for example, and it's not getting recognized there, you might wanna try on a Windows computer. And the reason why this might work is because the file system may just be different for some reason. And some file systems work on Mac and, or on PC and some don't work for Mac. So that may be something that is worth a try. The second thing you can do is you can actually use CMD and a command called check disk to actually fix a broken file system. I actually did this a long time ago when I was shooting a wedding and I lost about 256 gigabytes worth of files. And this one little command fixed that entire thing. It was definitely a heart attack moment, but I was extremely glad that I knew about this back then. So that's something that's also worth a try. And finally, you can actually change the drive letter of the SD card that you use to a different letter, and that can actually fix some of the file system issues and help you get your files back in the event that that is the main problem. Now, I know that I just completely glossed over those three, but if you do want a more in-depth version of how to do all three of those methods, I'll include a link down below to the guide post that I've made where you can check all of those out in detail if you're interested. And that's it. Corrupted SD cards are a huge bummer and they're very important because it happens to a lot of people all the time. Flash memory corrupts and you have to know what to do and how to fix it. But hopefully today you've learned something and I've been able to shed some light on the situation for you. And if you did find this video helpful, always be sure to leave us a like down below and also comment if you want me to cover anything else down below in the future. But that is gonna be it for today's video. My name is Andy. And until next time, thank you for watching.